Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Netgear PL1200 or 1200 megabit per second power line adapter. So I actually went down to Curry's for this. I was looking around and I saw some which were about £75 for a 600 megabit per second power line adapter and I thought that was quite good but then I actually ran across this which is double that speed and actually I bought this for £70 which was from Curry slash PC World so I'll go through what this actually includes and then I'll get to unboxing it so on the front there's a picture let's see if I can get focus on this get close focus there, there's two of them, they're quite large uh, but I have no problem with that because the sockets I'll be using there'll be um, lots of space around them. So on the front there is a few of the, the things that it includes. It has a gigabit power line, gigabit power line speed. Uh, it's perfect for connecting smart TVs, streaming, ga streaming game consoles and th stream things like that. Uh, it says it's ideal for 4K video streaming and lag free gaming. I will be using this for gaming mostly. But uh, the main reason why I wanted to get this is because the one I had was quite um, quite an old one. I wasn't getting the potential out of my let me just I wasn't getting the potential out of my actual um, my router because I've plugged it in via Ethernet and I was getting much faster speeds at about seven megabytes per second. And upstairs I was only getting about two megabytes per second. So I thought it was time to increase that speed, make the most of it. So it features a next generation power line, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that is. Next generation power line, it has a gigabit speed, it's beam forming, again not quite sure what that is, and it has gigabit ethernet ports. That's quite important if it's going to be as fast as it says it is on the box, it will need to be able to put that through the ports. And also I have gigabit ethernet ports on my router downstairs, so that's that's one of the reasons why I got this. I wanted to get a gigabit over 100 megabit per second Ethernet ports. It has a pick and plug LED indicator. I'm not quite sure what that's about. I think it's something to do with having more than one plugged in and then it'll tell you whether they're connected or not. Then there's a push and secure, which is probably something to do with getting a secure line across. And it also has an energy saving feature, which is mentioned here. Now, I read up about that and that means that after five minutes of ethernet inactivity in in the uh, actual power line adapter it will automatically shut off to save power so on the back it has a picture of a house with different locations of where you plug it in next to your modem or router and then you might plug it up in upstairs and it runs along the actual existing electrical wiring in your house rather than having wi-fi which is slower or actually running a really long ethernet cable around your house which can be quite messy so it uses the existing cables in your house so it says that it has the next generation power line reliable network latest technology plug and play energy saving push and secure which is basically what it says on the side here so now on the other side it says the contents and this contains two power line 1200 adapters two two meter ethernet cables a quick start guide as well as that and the sit the system requirements are an RJ45 Ethernet port, existing electrical wiring and outlets, don't worry, that is literally the wiring throughout your house. As long as you have a plug to put this in, that's all you'll need. Uh, specifications, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 10 slash 100 slash 1000 megabit per second or gigabit Ethernet port. Typical coverage up to 500 meters squared. Uh, warranted, limited two year warranty plus 90 day basic customer support. Head over to www.support.netgear if you're needing any of that. So now I'll get to actually unboxing this. There we go. So it opens from the bottom. So here we are. We have a quick start guide. There. Have a um, declaration of conformity. Then here we actually have the adapters, or the power line adapters. So here's one cable, here's two cables. I'll be using the cables I get in the box from this. Then we're in the packaging, I'll pull them out. Here is one of the power line adapters. And here is the other one. 
So one will go in downstairs by your router and it will plug in through this gigabit, gigabit ethernet port here. And the other one you will take upstairs to a room which you want to be able to um, use the ethernet through and plug that into the wall and it will run through the cabling in the wall, come out of here and you'll put it into a games console, a smart TV, a PC or anything that will require the, the connection. So that's about everything that comes within the box apart from the cardboard packaging. So now I'll put these back into the box, close the lid and now I'll actually plug it into the wall. So see you in a second. Okay so I've plugged it in as you can see down there, there is all green lights are on. The top one is for power, the second one is for ethernet and the third one is for how secure the connection is. If it's green it will be about 50 megabits per second which is quite low. Amber means slightly higher and then green means I think 80 megabits per second which is the optimum speed for it. So as you can see here, I'll just get a chair. So I've got my Black Widow Ultimate and my Razer Naga default headset. Razer background, might as well go for the whole thing. So I've come onto speedtest.net here. Let me just focus onto page. There we go. So I click begin test. So now I select server based on ping. And just get this to the full screen. So 80 megabits, 80 milliseconds for the response time of the connection. So now we're going over quite far over double uh, the connection I had before yet before I was barely able to reach 2 megabytes per second and now I can reach 5.3 which is a lot faster upload speed is only 1.2 but upload doesn't have to be too fast you know that's fine with me so there's my results so if I go to my recent results oh, um, there we go All right. so so now that was mine before see so it's very um very, very uh, fluctuated a lot. Sorry. So at first I was at 1.3 megabytes per second, which is really slow. Like that is, that's far below this the average. The average is 3.3.05 megabytes per second, and you see it fluctuate up and down. And eventually, um, eventually you can see down here, which is the, the date today, that it goes far over that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened here. Uh, Oh, that's when I plug my um, old one, my old power line back in, and then it increases so much more over here to 5.36 megabytes per second. So I've got quite a quite a fast connection. Obviously, not the fastest. It's not as fast as Ethernet, which is about seven megabytes per second. If I plug it in straight to my router downstairs, but I'm still pleased with that. There's no reason why I shouldn't be pleased with that. This it's about as much as you're going to get for the amount of money you pay and to be honest I'm not expecting much more from my router than this so overall I think it's actually quite a good product and um, I do value it over the other products that I saw around seeing as it also is a gigabit oh, sorry let me just focus that seeing also that it's a gigabit ethernet port and 1200 megabits per second apparently um, transfer speeds on the actual power line for the price of £70, I think that it's well worth it and I would recommend this over the other products that are in the range of the same price. So, thank you for watching my video, this review and unboxing of the Netgear Powerline 1200 or PL1200. And see you later.